you, you gotta be kidding me! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, that's right, to yet another edition of Dante's Hearthstone Tavern Brawl Week uh, 301. 301, we are here. We are ready, finally, for a creative deck. I'm excited. This is, oh, okay, a temporis shift. Time is an illusion. Time is a construct of human perception. Turn times doubly so. Build a standard deck and each turn, except the first turn this time. Ooh, so that's new, I guess. You'll get an extra turn. So technically this could be kind of brand spanking new, but we shall check a temporis shift. Two other times we have done this. Uh, very interesting, so. Actually, you know what? I think, all right, let, let's see if I can. The first time, yeah, time is illusion turn, times doubly so, build a standard deck and each turn, you'll get an extra turn. But then what about the next one? Week 179 was the first one, week 211 was the second, but how different is? Yes, except the first turn, this time, the second time. So technically it's the second time doing this, but sort of the third time, because the first time didn't have it go with the first turn. You get what I'm saying? Things are interesting, but this is the second time technically doing this exact same thing. Ugh. Anyways, building a deck. What is a deck that really allows you to go out ahead quickly with double the turns? And that's interesting. I, I'm gonna try a Druid deck druid uh well actually it's only standard card so is there a druid deck okay all right so is there a druid deck you can have here that you just blast off with card like something like gibberling right you get biggin gibberling you do all these basically everything that allows you to go out out, out front quick the obvious problem here is that after you run out of cards then you don't have cards <laughs> Um, yeah, so the obvious problem here is that I had to hold the dragon. Getting these cards is interesting. It's all about trying to figure out how to stay on the board. So can I stay on the board? Is that possible? You know, twin spells. That's the question. Discard any minions. That's, that's a problem. So like something like a savage roar. Is this even possible? I don't actually know. I don't, I think card draw is kind of the biggest problem but i'm gonna try it like soul of the forest you know that, that card just kind of works maybe that card works i don't know minions blah 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 summon three it's all about buffing and such overflow is not bad because that's five cards plus healing so we could try that and then i think that's about it it's just all druish cards Ooh, force aid see i feel like that's just too slow though card draw i feel like card draw is better so i don't think this is a good deck but i'm gonna try it because i, I don't know what they can do but uh see there's other cards i could have put in here neutral cards that makes more sense sort of for a kind of quickly rush deck so i, I went only druid cards but i think i kind of screwed up in that respect because there are neutral cards that can work with this um and this has been out for a little bit while so i could be just completely getting trounced from whatever else because people have had days to prepare for this so i am curious about that so except for the first turn all right well i guess i could just do that then and biggin we'll try that maybe they can kill that i don't know they get well i went first but they shouldn't get right they shouldn't get two turns am i confused why do they get two turns on their first turn that's that's a little weird, I think. All right, so that sucks. I'm kind of destroyed already. Uh, damn, I don't know now. Now I'm a little confused. I guess it's just literally only... So you actually, it's... I feel like it's way better be going second. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. This card is interesting, but I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> uh, okay. But maybe you can get a higher... I don't know. I'm curious here. Like I'm getting pretty stomped here, but they got garbage cards. I don't know what the hell. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, their cards are bad, <laughs> but they are stomping me. I mean, there's no doubt about that. That's a really good card. Really annoying card. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm just going to kill that then. Well, at least I get to draw cards now. So I actually could probably use some of those other cards that were a little bit slower. This is actually not bad. I am a little afraid that 
I mean, they are at only five mana and then six mana. I don't, I don't think I can die. At least for not for what they're playing. Very curious. It'd be pretty interesting if this could summon this minion. Then, then this card would be this card already. It's not out of control, but it's it can be rough. I don't know. I I think I might be dead unless I can get something because I don't I don't really have. Wow, I am I am stunned. So I basically have to win this turn, which I might be able to. I think I actually can win, which is hilarious. Yeah, this is hilarious. I actually win. I feel bad for them because I got really lucky, honestly. Like, this is crazy. That's insane. I think I got lucky, but I definitely think there is a druid deck that you can ramp up pretty quickly because you're getting the two turns and you can kind of be out of control. I can't believe I won there, though. <laughs> I just uh, because it did not look good for me. Uh, and big and not a good card in this deck. I mean, there, you can hone this down and chop it into bits where it's just way better than what I made it. But I mean, that was essentially what happened. I, it's pretty amazing that the gibberer, gibberling, uh, that basically made me win. But I, I got lucky getting the two savage roars, being able to actually draw a few cards. You probably get a few more draw cards, maybe a taunt or two or something else to help you get along. I mean, getting the overgrowth or even innervate or not innervate but innervate actually did help getting other stuff that helps you along getting further into the, the mana crystal is crazy especially with this when it's you set up one turn you kill the next turn with however many little minions i can get if you have some savage roars which i had both and i also had uh blessing of the ancients like that's crazy i got lucky is what i'm saying but i do think you can make this uh happen more fluidly and really you can have it happen have a higher chance of it happening if you make the deck a little bit better than this this is crap right here this deck is not great probably cut out even like 10 of these cards and have 10 better cards or so on like and big and is bad it's just this card to, for what this deck wants to do this card does not work but i am curious what decks do work i do think there are probably some insane i think this deck actually if when it's made better can work against a lot of decks but i am curious about a demon hunter one turn kill type deal um you have to i forgot the card's name that uh you deal damage uh if things heal you deal extra damage to your opponent or whatever uh stuff like that's very interesting but uh yeah i'm very curious like what is the deck that just blows people out of the water that's what i want to know in the comments below what have people seen that just destroy worlds and you just unless you basically play perfectly against that with your deck you know completely built around uh just to, combating that i don't you can't beat it like i want to know the decks that are just out of control that's what i know this deck i think actually when built better is actually pretty good for this specific format where it's essentially setting up one turn otking the next turn or something like that something to that effect i mean there are some neutral cards that i omitted that i know are better but hope you enjoyed this one i am going to open up some packs and i do have some extra packs i have been playing some other modes believe it or not trying some duels i'll tell you man i i've had shaman with the uh the one uh the hero power where you can't get overloaded and, and i love it it's great and then i've had a few times where i've had that hero power but then also the uh treasure or whatever that your spells cost two less but not less than one but you overload for one or something and i'm like wow that's perfect but then i would lose and it's very interesting how that seems completely and utterly out of control powerful but somehow i lost because my spells weren't tremendously large and i'd run out of steam and then they would beat me down eventually it was kind of crazy how that happened it, it, it's not as I, like i thought that if you got that you basically just win and i wasn't able to do it it's kind of interesting but it you have to build your deck a certain way and i swear they pit you against people who who have a deck that is good against yours i swear they do that because half the time i'm setting up a deck thinking i'm gonna go against all these decks that are rush decks i'm like all right well i'm gonna go against rush decks in the beginning so i'll set it up in the beginning because that's what people try to do to get ahead to try to get the two treasures uh i think you have to get at three wins 
and two is it five the fifth match or sixth match i forgot exactly but this to get the second treasure that's basically how far you want to get to see exactly if your deck will work but i think a lot of people would try to go quickly and try to get there fast with rush quick decks uh because if you lose early then you don't even get to those treasures but then i've been noticing i've been getting really slow decks and it's like there's no way people don't build those decks like that because they don't work early they build the decks and then it's like i don't know anymore i don't understand i get these perfect situations and sometimes somehow i'm getting countered incredibly either way hope you enjoyed this one like comment subscribe tell me what you think and i will be back